Hey, Panda, how you doing today? I'll be right back with you. Wait a minute. What you been up to, Panda? Give me a thumbs up, Panda. Oh, you did. Thank you, Panda. <laughs> How's everything going? Hey, Vicky, how you doing? Welcome to the live. Jaden's here. Go ahead, go ahead. Let me see. Vicky's, hey mama. Hey Vicky. It's so good to see you back in the back in the world of YouTube. Hey Ashcock. Hey, welcome. And Jaden, hello. Hello. I came on a little early today because I have to um take my uh Bentley to the groomers at two o'clock so i need to leave here about 10 to to two so i forgot i came on live when i took the appointment vicky said i'm good thank you i am too vicky i'm doing very well vicky said you look beautiful well thank you for a 70 year old woman you can't beat it yes hello butcher butcher Hello, how you doing today? Welcome to the live. I see this little piece of hair sticking up. How's everybody doing today? Does anybody know so far? 100%. Does anybody know so far? What does I mean to you? I. I can do it. I can do anything. I can help you. I know what's best for you. I can show you how to get out of this. I know everything. I, I, I. Uh, your today looks so sick. Thank you. I'm a 70-year-old woman. But that's all right. It's just a number. It's just the number. I feel good. I feel good. Yes, I do. And is everybody coming in? Please give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. That little thumbs up. Hit it for me. Y'all can do it and share this live out. Share it out. I think I just means me. Well, you are right. I does mean you. Yeah. Vicky, I can't see anyone else talking. You may need to go out and come back in, Vicky, because I can I can see all their comments. So it may be uh, what you're on at the moment. You may need to reboot it or something. I did before I spoke. Oh, okay. I did before I spoke. I get it. I get it. I, 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 I. Have you ever been around somebody... And all they can talk about is what they can do. I, I, I. That's all you hear is I, I, I. It's like you don't have any sense. Okay, now Aska, I hope you didn't put that on there. I see that um, Nightboat took it off or one of the mods, somebody hit it. But we're not talking like that on here. What you do in your own privacy is your business. I don't want to know that. Okay? Now, we're all adults here, and we're not going to be putting in no, no bad talking. The Lord reigns here. You be blessed. You be blessed. Okay. Um, when we use the word I... And talk in the sense of I all the time. I like to look at other people because everyone is different and they can be inspired or just in, 
interesting to learn about, I guess. Yes, you're right in, in, in a certain way. But you can be you have to be careful by I because I can give you the big big head. The big head. Because you think that you're the only person can do certain things. You're the only person who knows about certain things. You the only person can show somebody. It's like another person doesn't have any brains, any sense, any wisdom, any knowledge. I, when you speak of I so much, okay, now I can see everybody. Great, Vicky. Good. I'm glad you can. Since you're back, you're back, my dear. Let me replace you back to where, because I didn't know if you were off forever or what. Let me give you your wrench back. There you go, baby girl. Put a comment in. Let me see if you got it. Vicky. Vicky, put a comment in. Just say hi, something, anything. Anything, anything. So I can see if it's working right. But anyway, as I was speaking, I can be... There you go, Vicky. Okay. Okay. I, I love you so sweet, awesome, so much. Okay, now you're talking right now. There you go. I love you too. You be blessed at uh, Ashcroft. You be blessed. And thank you for being in my life. Thank you for being faithful. Debrew, hi, Debbie there. Who's Debbie? Hi, Debbie here. I guess I need to clean my glasses and maybe I can see something. Okay. Hello, Debbie. Welcome to the live. But what I was uh, about to, uh, to go in and talk about, when you hear a person use the word I all the time, I can, can be a satanic. Uh, I is... You put, you're putting too much power into yourself. It's like you can only do something and nobody else can. We all have... Uh, thank you, uh, Debbie. Uh, we all have a gift. Hey, Nancy, how you doing? Welcome to the live. Shawana, welcome to the live. We're talking about I. When you hear somebody who's saying I a lot... What happened to that one girl that used to come in the live all the time? I've got her name. Are you talking about Vern's Junk Closet or Marley's Inspiration? Those two used to uh, be in competition about who was going to be first here and came all the time. They're still around. They're still around. Uh, Marley has a different platform now, though. And it's Marley Inspiration. Uh, Vicky, you can check her out and see. Vern's Junk Closet, she's still, uh, she's more of a, a motivational speaker now. Hey, Angela, how you doing? Welcome to the live. Welcome. Okay, I'm going back to the I. When you, when, when a person speaks of themselves, and you hear I, I, I all the time. You need to be well, be well, Lord. You need to beware. Your radar should be going, shoo, 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 shoo. Because I, I, now you think about it, I, all the time. It's like, um, Deborah said, it's my first time here. You're so full of wisdom. Thank you, Deborah. But no, God blessed me with this. God gave it to me, and I thank him for it. And this, this subject has been on me, it's been in my heart for a while. Okay, red flag, a.k.a. red flag. What's the red flag? Oh, okay. Uh, it's been in my heart for a while, but I kept pushing it and pushing it to the back burner and um, not wanting to, to talk about it because I'm not trying to offend anyone or belittle anyone, but I want everyone to be uh, aware. Be aware. When you hear somebody speak I all the time, they're not in your best interest. They're in the interest of their own. They have their own um, agenda. 
Okay, I'll say that. They have their own agenda. And if you just sit back and listen to them, be quiet, listen, and let it sink in, it will get in your spirit and you'll realize, I need to keep my distance. Or best, the best thing you can do, I need to pray for this person. Because I don't, I don't take the glory. I don't take the honor and the praise because it all belongs to God. I, can do, I can't do anything without God. I am nothing without God. The eyes does not sit here with me. The eyes. I have a channel here on YouTube. And yes, God has blessed my channel. But God has ordained everything that I do. God has blessed everything that I touch. Not me. Not I. Not I. I can't do anything but rely on God. He has blessed me with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and the revelation, and discernment to see things, to understand things. And each and every one of us need to pray and ask God for wisdom and knowledge and understanding every day of your life. And, and to ask and to know 100% what your gift is. Because we all have gifts. We all have gifts. And each and every one of us is different. I mean, you may see a gift that somebody else have that you admire and want for yourself. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with that. When you see the blessings in other people and you want those blessings. Hey, LSP, how you doing? Yeah, we're going to pray for Mama Ray Ray. And how God has opened up doors for that person. It wasn't I. It wasn't the I that did it. It was God that did it. So we need to be careful and not to rob God of his praise. He, he inhabits the praises. He loves the praises. The praises all belong to God. It don't belong to me. It don't belong to Angela Critter. It doesn't belong to uh, Unlucky Panda. It doesn't belong to LSP. You get, my, you get what I'm trying to tell you? It don't belong to us. We can't do nothing without Christ. We are who we are. And yes, some people are more knowledgeable than the other ones. But you don't have to flaunt that in people's face. You don't have to make them feel like they can't do anything. Because really, you're hindering that person. They, don't have, they won't have the drive or the ambition to try and to do when it's always I, 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 I. Okay, do you get it? And as you talk to people and listen to people now, you listen for those eyes. You listen for, for those little nuggets. I mean, and you should have things shooting off, you know. Uh, I got to be beware. It, it could be somebody that you love and care for. It doesn't matter. And, and uh, a lot of us have lack of knowledge. We don't know. We don't understand when you know better. You do better. When your eyes have been opened, you see better. So get the understanding that you need. Unlucky Panda, if I'm an atheist, do I also need to pray? Yes, you do, Panda. If you don't believe in God, you need to pray. And, and I, I'm going to pray for you. I don't know your situations or what you uh what you're going through or what your home life is. And I don't want to step in what your parents are teaching you. I'm not trying to turn things around. All I know is about the God in me. Okay, we need uh, LSP. So, uh, let me tell everybody here that Mama Ray Ray Cooking in the Kitchen, I believe is her new name, but we know her as Mama Ray Ray. She's very beloved here on YouTube. She has a cooking channel, but she has COVID and she has pneumonia. Carter's Eat yesterday put up a video announcing and telling us all about it and asking us all to pray for her. And I have been praying. I have been interceding ever since I saw that video. Because Mama Ray Ray and I were our friends, and it really touched my heart. Um, God gives you 
I have been feeling some some kind of way when I have seen her do a live. I wondered if she was. I I knew she'd been having health issues, and but I didn't know what what was going on. But God has a way of doing things, and He does it at His own time in His own way. He answers our prayers at His own time in His own way. And when we pray, we may be praying for one thing. And God sends us something else. And sometimes God will send you just what you prayed for. But you're not ready for what you prayed for. You're not, you're not ready to receive it. So, you know, you hear somebody, people, some people saying, be careful what you pray for. Am I buffering? Because here on, it may be my laptop. I'm going to go out and go back in. But right now, hold on a second, everyone. I'm going to see if this is my lap. Yep, it's my laptop. I need to re redo it. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong thing. Okay. Come on, reset, reset. Okay, let's let's all touch and agree because the Lord said I'll never really know how to pray and I don't know if I will ever do, but I am. It went away. Panda praying is just talking to God like I'm talking right here on this video to you right now. When you pray, you pray like that. So I would call it like a different way of praying. I'm going to have to get back, wait till I get back on so I can read your whole message because I'm having to reboot my laptop. But when we're praying, it's bas we're basically talking to God. You, you're putting out what is truly in your heart because God knows when you're trying to fool him, you can't fool God because God is all-knowing. So when you pray, pray sincerely and honestly from your heart. Communicate, talk. Basically, you're talking just like I'm talking now, but you're praying from your heart. Y'all, hold on a second. Let me get this laptop back up, and we're going to pray for Panda and Mama Ray Ray. And anybody else who wants to be prayed for, um, put it in the comments right quick, and we will also pray for you. I'm trying to get it back up, y'all. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, there it is right there. Okay. Let me see what I have missed. Oh, Lord, I keep hitting the wrong thing. Um, prayers for all and what... Prayers for all and what you are dealing with. Amen. Uh, you coming in? Fine. Yeah, it was my laptop. Nancy says, um, like James 119 says, know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. That's right. You got to think before you say things. You know, you can be all wise and all knowing, but you, I mean, you ain't got to throw it down everybody's throat. Um, let me see. Prayers for Mama Ray Ray. I got that. Panda said, I've never really known how to pray, and I don't know if I will ever do so, but I am thankful that I, ho I hope for things if there is a need. Okay. Okay. But, Panda, I'm going to keep you in my prayer. I, I am that God will open up your eyes. Let's touch and agree. Father God, Father God, in the name of your darling son, Jesus, who took all our sins to that old rugged cross, we ask now, Father, for forgiveness of my sins, my sins of omission, commission, all of my sins. I pray that it's not nothing within me now that will hinder this prayer that I'm about to pray. I pray for all those who are listening right now, Lord, that they will have a receiving heart. I pray that you will give, bless them with wisdom and knowledge and understanding. 
and to know that you are the great I am. You are the I am. And Father, we're standing in the gap right now for Mama Ray Ray. Lord, each and every one of us, we love her, Lord. And we miss her presence here on YouTube. Lord, we know that she has that dreaded disease and she also has pneumonia. But Lord, you can clear up those lungs. You can open up everything that seems to be closing down. You can make a miracle. You can do whatever you want to do. And you said in your word, by your stripes, we are healed. And we are praying for healing for Mama Ray Ray. Lord, I know victory is hers today. Because you said victory is mine. And I thank you for the victory that will be in her life. I pray for her and her son, Raylan, that you give them both strength and understanding. I know she loves you, Lord. She believes in you. She trusts you. And she stands on the promises of God. And right now, we pray that you will grant her the peace that she needs. The joy and the happiness. Take away any fear, any doubt that may be lingering in her heart. Give her complete peace in the name of Jesus. To know that everything is going to be all right. That you got this, Lord. And that your healing, all we got to do is speak it. All we got to do is speak it. And you said in your word that we will be nothing lacking, nothing broken, and nothing missing. And I'm claiming that right now in Jesus' name. I pray for Panda, Lord. We love that little guy. He's been on my channel, Lord, since I first started having lies. And I thank you for blessing him to be a friend in my life. That even though he's a youngster, that you still blessed him to come. And he always check in on me. And I thank you, Lord, for that. I thank you for the friendship that you blessed us to have. And I pray that one day he will receive you as his Lord and Savior, that he will have the understanding that you are the great I am. And Lord, I pray for everybody who's here right now, Lord. I pray for this world and the situation that is going on in this world right now, Lord. I pray for the families that are represented here, Lord, now. Whatever their situation, the problems, the, the trials that they're going through, that you will speak victory over their lives. I thank you, Lord, for blessing me. I thank you for blessing my home and my family. And I pray that on all those who are right here with me praying today. Lord, I just thank you. You know our problems even before we speak them. And I'm asking right now for complete healing, victory, and understanding. In the name of Jesus, my Lord and Savior, I pray. Amen. Amen. I've never really known how to pray. Oh, okay. I read that, Panda. Okay. Okay. Nightboat seems to be putting up everything all at one time. What's going on, Nightboat? Prayers for all who are dealing with... Okay. Uh, Ashka, I pray for you. Lord, I pray for our friend who asked for prayer. You know what the prayer is needed for, Lord. And I just pray that Ashcott will receive whatever it is that this person needs. Lord, I thank you. I thank you in advance. And I ask that you will bless and enlighten in Jesus' name. <laughs> okay? Uh, in Jesus' name, yes, Lord, Panda, is it? Is it to pray in mind, like not loud, but in head? And you can pray both. You can pray in your mind, and you can speak it out loud. That's why um, when some people say that um, you know, the prayer was taken out of school, you can still pray in your mind. You can pray in your mind, and you can pray underneath your breath, not out loud, not audible. But you can pray. You can't take away my prayer, what's in my heart. I mean, because the law said it, you, that's not stopping me from praying. You can always pray. Pray in the word God said, pray without ceasing. We're supposed to pray about everything. 
You hear me? Everything. Little things that we take for granted. When you're going to get that oil change on your car, you ask God to leave the mechanics to do the right thing and not to overcharge you and not to find things that don't exist wrong with your car. You need to pray every time you go out that door. Every time you send your children out that door. You need to pray over everything. You need to pray over the food before you eat it. Even those snacks, you need to pray over them. We need to pray about everything. Because he said to pray without ceasing. And with everything, give thanks. Okay. Um... Vicky is speaking to LSP. Uh, Marlene is renovate. Hey, Beverly. Hey, Marlene. How you doing today? Panda said, is it possible? Yes, it's possible. You know how you think in your head? You think of things because everything is birth right here. It is birth right here. That's why we got to take control of our thinking. You know, it'll start at a little bit of something, a little bitty seed. It'll start. And, and the more you think on it, especially when it's something we ain't got no business doing. The more you think on it, it grows and it grows and it grows. That's why you need to snap that thing right from the beginning. Just rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Put it under your feet. So that thought is under my feet. I'll go straight back to hell where you came from. That thought does not belong in my head. You got to think of lovely things, good things, things of a good report, things that will uplift but not bring you down or anybody else. Okay, let me see. Uh, be the difference begin. Hey, be the difference. Be the difference. Clothing is here, y'all. Miss Joy is in the room. Uh, that's right, Beverly. Pray is pray is a great gift that no one can take from you. Even in your no, no one can take your prayers or want from you. Nobody, because that's your conversation with God. Like I'm having conversation with you right now. That's what prayer is. You having a conversation with God. And don't think you can't say anything. You think, you know, I, I can't say that to God. I'm not supposed to think that. And I'm not supposed to question God. If that's what you're feeling at that moment, and he wants, to, he wants you to tell him everything, why can you not tell him when you don't understand something? Why can you not ask God to give you that understanding, to open up your mind to receive what you need to receive at the moment? God can do anything but fail. He's not a little God. He is a great big God. And in his word, he said, we are all made in the image of God. When you look in your mirror, you see all those different images, different colors, different variations. God made them all. And they are very pleasing in his sight. This is a warning. I will put you on time out. Please respect host. Thank you. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you. Now, um, we're not going for no. You've been in here before, and you know not to put, put uh, to um, comment no foolishness. And today, because of the subject, maybe um, you feel in another kind of way. But I'm sorry. But don't be putting any foolishness in here. Because what I want everybody to understand today is that I. And when you hear that a lot, hey, 1SP, yes, there's my friend. How you doing? I'm glad you made it in. When you hear people talk about that I, I, I all the time, be careful because they're just lifting themselves up. It's all self-praise. A few months ago, I realized how much my perception of world changed from negative to positive. And I'm so glad I wished everyone to be an optimist. Yes. At least to some degree. Okay. Uh, wanna, have you checked your mail? No, I haven't. I haven't checked my mail. I will. 
Uh, Vicky, LSP, I've been good. Thank you. Okay. They talking to each other. But it's, it's just been on my heart for a while because, you know, out here in these YouTube streets, you hear it a lot. And there's a lot of people I, out here who, um, Marlene, hey, everyone in the chat. Hey, uh, I spoke to you though, right, Marlene. Be good. Be good. <laughs> who who lift them, their self, the God with the little G, okay? Whenever I write, or in a G, okay? Whenever I write or in a comment or anything that I speak about God, I always put that G in capital letters because he's a big God. He's not a little God. I put it in capital letters, G-O-D. The little G is people who think they are gods and who think people are supposed to follow them and do whatever they say. That's the little G. But my God has control of everything. He is a awesome, awesome God. Oh, Nancy said, it is buffering? Oh, I'm so, okay. Now mine's not buffering. <laughs> I don't know. And my internet here is bad also. Though uh, AT&T has been working on our line, so we'll see how this turns out. Unlike, I love the atmosphere on your lives. It's always so cool. Everyone is chatting and happy. And that's the way I want it to be, Panda. That is. That's the way. And I'm glad you feel that way. Um, 1SP said, I sent you a little package, my sister. Okay. I can't. Did you, you send it to the post office? Because, you know, we don't go to the post office but once a month. I'm like LSP. We don't. But I have the mail, I mean, mail for my house, but the post office, okay, thank you, LSP, but the post office, I go about once a month, but I'll send Mr. Jimmy to the post office. Lord, y'all ought to see our post office. It is something that you see on TV in these comedies when a post office is real small. I think my bathroom is bigger than the post office. <laughs> it is the littlest post office I ever seen in my life, but it works. I also want to be that way. It's not really easy to find such places, so everyone here is quite lucky. Do y'all hear this coming from a young man? A young man with more wisdom than some grown people. That's why I love my panda. He... Panda, how old are you? Are you 12? <laughs> I know you're young, though, but I don't know. Oh, the post. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to send Mr. Jimmy to the post office. Thank you, my friend, 1SP. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll have to do an opening on a, um, uh, a video for you. I am so glad that everybody came in today. Uh, one SP, what we've been talking about is the I. Be careful when people are always talking about I, 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 like uh, no one else can do it but them. I also want to be that way. Oh, I read that. Okay. Can you repeat the question? I didn't understand it. <laughs> I hope it was about to act because you know I'm a senior uh, uh, panda and I forget from one second to the next. Well, hello, Kieran. How you doing? Great message. Love your prayer message. Much needed for everyone. Thank you, Kieran. Welcome to our live. Everybody in here, please welcome Mr. Kieran Shine. He's a friend of mine. Welcome him to the live and I'll thank you for that. But we're going back to the importance of that, that I. Beware. And you can't say nobody never told you about the I. When you hear people saying, I, 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 I alone can do it. No, you can't. No, you can't. Only God can do it. Not you. Only God. And God works through human agency. He moves through us and do his things. But with God leading you, make sure God is in there somewhere. There 
y'all go. Wow, I had to go out three times. I kept losing chat conversation. It's probably my, I don't know if it's uh, on my end or what, but AT&T is working on our internet and um, they got a mess going. They got a mess going out here. It's supposed to be faster when they get through, so we shall see if it's faster. Ooh, I got to keep up with the time too because uh, Mr. Bentley has to get beautiful today. He's getting hair everywhere, everywhere. I am vac vacuuming about every um, 30 minutes or so because I can't stand to see that hair on the carpet. I can't, I can't deal with that. So he's going to get groomed today, and he's going to get the shampoo that's supposed to help um, with the hair shedding. I wonder, I don't know. Mama, it might be on my, okay, okay. I don't know, and it may, mine may be playing, playing a part too because um, earlier I was trying to do some work on the internet and it, and it kept kicking me um, on the laptop and it kept kicking me out. So I think the important thing is to appreciate the world as it is. You could think about it as thinking thanking to God, but it's like a more atheist, but also positive way of saying, I think, LOL. No. Yeah, we appreciate the world, but Panda, who made the world? Where did the world come from? Who made it, Panda? Is it just a speculation that popped to my head based on what I've learned? No. No, you need to, you need, you're looking for understanding. You, you're looking to the finding the meaning of things. And uh, Angela says, I'm a believer. That's right. Angela, that gave me cold chills. I'm a believer. That's right. But we're helping Panda get understanding right now because he, he doesn't really understand like we do. Um, so we if it's anything that y'all can a one s one s p if there's anything you can put in here to enlighten him to um help him about the truth about who God really is, put it in here, but my God, he's an awesome God, he is Panda be right back, I need to go buy something okay, Pat, well, a lot of times he's going to ride his bicycle so. Uh, I love to vacuum. It really pleases my spirit to vacuum and listen to gospel. You know what, 1SP? I love it. You know, my lines, my lines got to be going a certain way in the carpet. I love it. And then I have to watch myself because if somebody walk on my lines right after I done them, they, I get upset. You know that ain't even right, but that's just me. That's just me. But I love vacuuming and putting those lines in. And I don't, you know, a lot of times, I'm not listening to the gospel music, but I'm singing to myself. That's what I'm doing. I'm singing to myself. And it's so peaceful. I, ooh, a lot of people don't understand that. Uh, my sister-in-law loves to vacuum, loves it. Yes, Angela, yes. Now, my mother-in-law, when she was still alive, she loved washing and folding clothes. I don't like that, but she loved that. She would go from house, she would go to my daughter's house um, and my house, her daughter's house, wash and fold. And she would be just laughing and giddy with it. And she, she, uh, she always hum. Mm. She always, she hummed so much. She hummed all the time and she didn't even realize she was humming. And now my husband has started doing that humming like his mama. He'll be just sitting there and he'll be just humming a song. Just humming. I was saying, Jimmy, do you realize you were humming? He said, uh-uh. I didn't even know I was. I said, yes, you was humming just like your mama. And we would go to church. And uh, I love to see her in church because she was, her, she had off writers in that, her hands. And she would all, she would do her hands like this when it, because, you know, it'd be cold in church. And so um, when it get cold, she would hold her hands like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
but she be humming a little song. I love to hear that. It's nothing like it. I'm loving your cleaning story. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, what if there was a science God so you can believe in God, but also in science and logic at the same time? I believe in, um, first of all, I believe in God. And I believe in science. And I believe in logic. God put them all here. Uh, one of the disciples was a doctor. They were all different kind of men, though. But one was a doctor, was a physician. So even from biblical times to now, I don't know why my eyes running so much today. I think I probably have an allergy or something. But even in these times, God's still working in the background. Um, Vicky says, Mama, my son has lost his faith in God because a preacher accused him of something he would never do. I cussed that preacher out. Called, I called him a hypocrite. Now, see, when I was younger, I had an, a bad encounter with a minister. And it hurt my growth, my... Um, my growth as a Christian for years because I allowed that man to do that to me. I was molested by this preacher and I, I lost all, not all faith, I would say, but it stunned me for a while because I was a child. I was a child when he did that. I wasn't even 13 years old. And for a grown person, to do something. I didn't even know about stuff like that, you know, that touching and all. I didn't know about that. And for um, him to touch me inappropriately the way he did, that did something to me. That really stunned me. And you would, I mean, a situation like that can hold you back for years because you feel like you can't tell anybody. Nobody would believe you. Because they're going to believe that adult over that child. And I promised myself then, if I ever had any children, whatever my child told me that someone did to them, I'm going to believe my child. And I was in my 40s before I spoke this to my father that raised me. Because this same minister got in trouble in Virginia doing the same thing in that church that he did at our church and uh, was arrested for it and was convicted. Praise the Lord. Uh, Vicki, okay, I read that. I'm sorry that happened to you. Yes, it, it was traumatic. It was very, very traumatic. And... Uh, Every degree he had every degree, PhD, master's, doctoring, every degree to have. And the church I went to at the time, um, it was it was an educational. They believed in education. I'll put it that. They believed in children going to college, which was good. That was that was good. Shaw University. About every summer, I would go to uh, a camp there, and I looked forward to it. I loved it there. I mean, being around them students and teach nobody, professors didn't have any problem. But you go home to your own church and your pastor molested you. Ain't that something? And was molesting most of the girls in the church. Most of us, he was molesting. Uh, Vicky, how can I get his faith in God back up? First of all, you got to start praying for him. Sometimes we got to be quiet. Just, you know, not talk about it all the time. But give it to God. And when you 100% give it to God, he will take over. Only God can show him and, you know, pray that God will open up his heart and his mind. That he will... Uh, receive because right now he's backslidden. He was accused of something he didn't do, and and that's hard. That's hard. And when you have those encounters with a minister of God, it takes a while sometimes to come back from that. It really does. I have a little friend that um, 
she was also molested by her pastor, but she believed that he loved her, and she was a teenager. He had the girls in that church uh, believing he was having like a little cult, like he loved them and that he was their father-husband figure. And it, this is a little church right here in our community. And I, I never would have thought that was going on that. But he was also charged and went to jail also. Thank you, Jesus. I'm sorry that happened to you, but I am grateful that God carried you through your pain and gave you the strength to stay faithful to him. Uh, Vicky said, okay, I will do. Yeah, I'll be praying for him also, Vicky, because I know, uh, I don't know how he feels. I can't say how he feels, but I know how I feel and how that road was, and it was hard coming back. But I knew that God was real. I kept that in my mind, and I quit going to church for a while. I'll be honest. I quit going to church for a while. I just had a distaste in my mouth for anything Christianity. But the more I could not, I could not 100% put down God's word. And I kept reading it. And he kept speaking because God speaks to you through his word. The word of God is just God speaking to us. And the more I read it, the more he spoke to me. And the more in Psalm 91, Psalm 91, Vicki, read Psalm 91 for your son. Now, in Psalm 91, in, in, in places I put myself, I call my name in it. I call Beverly. I spoke it to me. I spoke it to my soul. And that delivered me. That helped me more than anything. Psalm 91. What time is it? Hold on. I'm going to get my Bible. I'm going to read Psalm 91. I'm sorry to leave you so long, but I left my personal Bible in the car. And my husband has taken, I'm out of breath because I had to go downstairs. My husband has taken the car to get an uh, airbag in it. It was a recall on it. Okay, I'm going to read Psalm 91. I've been reading the Bible on my phone. Woo! Old people in steps. On my phone most of the time. Song 91. Let me tell you how you do it. Okay. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Where it says that he, I would say Beverly, Beverly that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The first word here is I will say. I say, Beverly will say to the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I, will I or will Beverly trust. 
Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noiseless pestilence. He shall cover me with his feathers and under his wings shall I trust. His truth shall be my shield, my shield and butler. I shall not, it says thou shall not, but I put I, or sometimes it says Beverly. Beverly shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction, the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at my side and 10,000 at my right hand, but it shall not come nigh me. It says, but it shall come not nigh thee, but I say me. Only with thine eyes shall I behold. It says, shall thou behold. And I says, shall I behold and see the reward of the wicked. Of the wicked. God is going to let, allow you to see what is going to happen to those wicked ones. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, my habitation. That's where I'm going to be. There shall no evil befall me. It says befall thee. And I said befall me. Neither shall any plague come nigh my dwelling. For he shall give his angels, his angels, charge over me to keep me in all my ways. They shall bear me up in their hands, lest I dash my foot against the stone. It says, thou shall tread, and I said, I shall tread upon the lions and the antlers, the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me. He has put his love on me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he have known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. I read that Psalm 91 for years. I read that every day. Three times in a row. One for the Father, one for the Son, and one for the Holy Ghost. And the more I read that, the more it got into me. That was my deliverance scripture. That scripture, Psalm 91, delivered me. And when you are in trouble... When you need some strength, please read Psalms 91. Hey, James, and all those who have entered the live while I was reading the scripture and going to find my Bible, <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so glad everyone has came in today. I... I don't know why, but I have been putting this off for some reason because it's been, like I said before, it's been within me. But for some reason, I, I, I've i just been running from it. I've been running from it. I don't know who it's for. And I pray, I know that God has the person here who needed to hear this today. And I pray that it was a blessing to you because God wanted someone to hear this today. And I pray that it found a lodging place. Okay, I'm getting ready to uh, end it now. I'm going to speak, decree, and declare over everyone. I've enjoyed it today. And I pray that you got some kind of understanding out of what I was saying. But I am courageous. I am unstoppable. I am victorious. I am love. I am blessed. I am gifted. I am anointed. I am successful. I am healed. I am healthy. 
I am beautiful. I am whole. I am confident. I am forgiven. Don't hold them grudges. Let it go. Like I had to learn to let it go. Stuff done happened years ago. Let it go. Forgive them so you can keep on growing. I am for grateful. I am generous. I am strong. I am favored. I am able. I am powerful. I am fruitful. I am God's masterpiece. You are God's masterpiece because our God does not make any junk. And we are all made in the image of God. I love you, but God loves you more. Why? Because you are his masterpiece. Kieran says, crazy how God brought me in. Something I needed to hear. Thanks again. You're welcome, Kieran. You're welcome. Over 50 and thank you, Sister Bear. Thank you. And all those who came in that I did not tell you, hello, hello. I love your videos. Thank you for being there for us. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just doing what God leads me to do. I'm learning to be more obedient. Not to worry about what nobody think or say or care about what I say. I want to please God. I just want to please God. And by pleasing God, I'm blessing others. And that's what if one person, one person receives something from this, it's worth it all. Uh, Vicky says, love you, mama. I love you too, Vicky. I love you, baby girl. Um, Marlene says, bye. Uh, LSP had a great day. Vicky, bye. Bye, everyone. Let me take my Bentley to be great. <laughs> I love you all. You know that. Be safe, be blessed, and be prosperous. Bye-bye, everyone.